guys and welcome back to my channel Ikamala Mutimsi welcome Gubeni and for all the new viewers hi welcome Ikamala Mutimsi welcome Gubeni I hope you like it here and you stay please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's grow <laughs> so um as I may have or may have not mentioned, I am on the Daniel fast, the traditional Daniel fast, year 21 days, and I am 21 minus 5, 16 days in, yeah, 16 days in, and yeah, we're keeping on pushing, and with that, I'm going to do a separate video based on that, but then this year, I said we're growing, guys, we're growing in Christ, we're growing in business we're growing in our houses we're growing financially we're growing we're growing we're expanding guys this is our year so um and that is also one of the motivating factors for um getting into the daniel fast at the beginning of the year but then um it's my first ever daniel fast did i mention yeah it's my first daniel fast and yeah guys i'll tell you all about it as we go but then also i felt so strongly in my heart to do this video because this is also a nugget i picked up in the daniel fast so this is in the journey in the process and once i've graduated i'll come back with like a whole video and packed with information and yeah you guys so um today we talking about prayer so with okay so my personal experience with god is i was introduced to god since birth like i know nothing else but god but then this is me also being on a journey of my own deciding which i want to experience and see god firsthand basically so um yeah and one of the things that i've picked up um in this journey is prayer the importance of prayer what prayer is how should you come into prayer with god why should you come why should you pray and things like that and um so i've got you guys this bible this is my mom's bible man i don't know how it ended up with me either i asked for it and she gave me or she left it in my car i don't know but it's here guys and it's the only bible i have so <laughs> um yeah i need to get a bible yes so what is prayer so my what is prayer what i've discovered prayer to be is communication it's communication with your father it's communication with the lord it's a conversation where it's a two-way conversation meaning when we converse one speaks and the other listens one us and one does and it's it's, it's a two-way street i've also discovered that prayer is your you giving God authority to have it in to have influence upon your life. So now it's us seeking God. It's us seeking a relationship with God. You pray because you want something. You pray either because you want His presence in your life, or you just offloading, or you're asking for something. So you pray because you're in need. Um, First Thessalonians chapter five verse sixteen says, "I'll put it on the screen as well." be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus so be joyful always pray continually pray continually pray in all circumstances pray whether you are happy, whether in the sad days and your sad days and your happy days, your sad and happy moments, pray about it. Also in one in my bridal shower, I was also told to pray, especially in my marriage when we're happy, because um, that will give me sufficient grace. That is a deposit for when things are not well. And in life, you guys, 
the same way this seasons this summer the spring this autumn this winter the same way is the same way that the seasons in your life seasons within your business seasons in your career seasons and relationships we all go through seasons and you need to be prepared for those through prayer and um what uh verse 18 says Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. God wills for you to invite him into your life. God wants you to seek a relationship with him, basically. And then this leads me to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then will, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So this verse is very packed and packed in the sense that people that are called by his name, we are his kids. If you believe that the Lord is your God and savior, that you believe God as your Lord and savior, then in that way you were called by his name but now you need to pray like the bible refers um a lot to prayer pray you guys and then seek my face and turn from their wicked ways another version says humble yourselves and with that um it factors in attitude at your at the attitude in which you come to God. So in um a worldly example would be you going to your parents to ask for something. You don't just get to your parents and stand the gate there and go, Mama, daddy said, Mama. Uh uh you go into the house, you knock, you go into the house and um chances are you gonna sit down and be like Mama daddy like can i have so that is like humble yourself that is the attitude you need to come humble yourself turn from your wicked ways turn from your wicked ways that is jealousy towards your neighbor or envy that is lies you guys that is your unforgiving ways that is um idolatry that is adultery like it's i think it's um Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that speaks about love and it tells us exactly what those wicked ways are. So turn from those. If you've got a grudge against somebody, let them go, release them because that is heavy. You come in, you, 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 you imagine you were coming to tell God about your problems, but there's problems that you're holding on to that you could just easily let go and I not even easily let go because sometimes people wrong us and um wicked ways is like there's people who do things intentionally to hurt us they say things intentionally to hurt you but then be like Christ you guys turn away from those ways let them go don't hold grudges against them don't yeah the lying the stealing killing you guys those are all wicked ways and yeah turn away from that so you need to be clean you need to be clean and on a clean slate you need to have a good attitude you need to humble yourself when you come to god and when you come to god when you go into god's presence basically you need to humble yourself this scripture basically tells us how we should come into prayer how we should seek the face of god how we should go in asking for and what he is saying is seek me and i will heal your land i will hear you and i will heal your land so this also um gingin reiterates Uguti, when you pray you're in need of something and this is my land my life is my land and how who governs my land ye me so you are in charge of your land but then if you invite god for wisdom if you invite god for knowledge for understanding for him to guide you then um you need to pray and seek that basically I absolutely love what Matthew 7, Matthew 7 verse 8 reads, 
for everyone who asks receives he who seeks finds and him who knocks the door will be opened um this verse again is very packed and let's dissect it so what is to ask so on here i've got what is to ask so um you to ask is to say something in order to get an answer it's to express a desire or request in order to get something and um also with asking if you don't ask then you will not get like um yeah if you don't ask for help from god and also asking is basically you realizing or acknowledging that you can't do this on your own you need god to walk this journey with you you are you are it's it's a form of not casting your burdens it's a form of submission it's submission it's submission and you 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 said lord i realize that i need you lord i realize that i can't do this on my own lord i need you in this step i need you in this aspect of my life i need you so ask and you shall receive and that's also another verse in the bible he who seeks finds what is to seek to seek is to attempt to find something. It's a desire to obtain and achieve something. So a desire and or a desire to obtain or achieve something. And in this case, it's achieving or obtaining favor from the Lord. It's seeking the face of the Lord. It's seeking God's presence in your life and in whatever aspect you need him to have influence in. But then seeking. And this, this is also an action word. You are seeking. What does that tell you? With prayer or with anything that you need from God, you must be willing to do something about it. Yes, pray, and God is 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 in control, and He gives you the way. Also, what I noticed, uh, what I know for sure, is that God does not call you to something and not qualify you for it. Whether it's Him teaching you how to do it, whether it's Him showing you the way, but then um, God does not call you to something. He does not call you. He does not lead you where his grace isn't sufficient. So this is you seeking. Just go out, have that curiosity, apply for that job, you guys. Like, it's, it's, it's a faith thing. Like, seek. It says, to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Knocking is also an action word. You are knocking. Either you are knocking gashe like Coco or you are knocking. You are bulldozing that door. You are bulldozing that um gingy opportunity or that um gingy mountain in front of you. But then this is you knocking. And then to knock is to strike, which is an action. To strike a surface noisily to attract attention, especially when wanting to be let in through a door. So you do this noisily, you do it unapologetically because you are with God, you believe and you have it in your heart towards you are walking with the Lord. So you fear nothing because God is with you. This just shows me what yes, like um there's the stages to Christianity and with um in life in general and um a priest as something he made an analogy or would he with um his kids when they were younger he would stock up the fridge with like your cheese and your yogurt and your um french and stuff and when his kids were toddlers they would come to him and say daddy um really french daddy can i have a sandwich daddy this daddy that and daddy would get up and do it for them that's stage one but then in their like uh in teen stages 13 14 and onwards this um their his kids got to a stage where they would go directly to the fridge even without asking because even without asking because they know that daddy has something in store for them where guys in the fridge so the fridge is stocked up you have that you know god has brought everything that you need everything everything that you need he's supplied for all of our needs it's already there he he already has you in his plans he knows what your life is going to turn out looking so 
you need to get for from a point where you stop feeling pity for yourself and only asking but then ask and have action ask and go for it ask and go do it and also when you get to that fridge with the cheese and the french and the acha and what what um and the yogurt and all of that what is it that you do you pick out what you want life is what you make of it you pick out what you want and then you start slicing the cheese you start slicing the french you slice the lettuce and the tomato um to do what to make a to make a sandwich so what that tells you is that you there's also a process of getting what you want you don't just ask and it falls from heaven it's already there but then god needs to prepare you he needs to know that all right mentally he needs to know what you you can hold on to this precious gift of life or precious gift of financial freedom or precious gift of that job that you want he knows that you'll be responsible enough for it he knows that you are prepared and well equipped for it because he's taken you through the process so yeah with that you guys uh prayer is an action word prayer pray without ceasing ask god like prayer is you having a relationship with your god and also here I, yeah another thing i learned is that with prayer you need to reference god's word i heard okay i hope i say it in a in a way that makes sense but then um fundisi a priest at at, at at my church he said Uguti, with 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 god's word is more than his name god finds glory in keeping his promises so nighty we find ourselves in a place where we're longing for him and we keep on wanting him because we're seeing this life in him and he's a river that never runs dry so with that um king he he is he is god and he's that big through isenzo zake through his his miracles and wonders and through him keeping his promises so also in prayer you need to reference his word you don't need to know the whole bible you guys but then you God is not a man, so he will not lie. So with that, um, referencing his word is you keeping him accountable or you, yeah, you keeping him accountable to his word and his promises upon your life. And also with, it's important when praying for whatever situation, reference God's word because it's unchanging and it's true and it's either a yes or an amen but then yeah you guys so that's what i'm learning i'm learning quite a lot i am experiencing quite a lot and it's not easy it really is challenging and days are not the same as well especially on this daniel fast but then i'll unpack all of that in in the daniel fast video but then yeah you guys stay in the lord i hope you learned something from this i know i rambled quite a bit but then yeah this is me this is what i've learned so far and i hope you learned something yourself stay blessed until the next video or vlog